Hi everyone, it's Georgia here and welcome to my May 2021 Virtual Faith Art Retreat, Light to My Path. Now, this is a very exciting retreat because, oh my goodness, we're going to Canberra. <laughs> it doesn't seem like such a big thing for most of you, I'm sure, but it's been a really, really long time with COVID and all that's happened. It has been over a year since I have taken my little Canberra retreat and this is the month that we are going because there is this great exhibition at the National Gallery which I had to go had to go and see Van Gogh before he went home so I sort of you know pulled some strings and it's a really 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 long story but here we are in Canberra yay so excited so I thought as a special little project to bring with me on this little three-day trip, I thought I would make a little mini travel folio journal souvenir holder thing. <laughs> as usual, I don't have a name. <laughs> um, something to bring with me on this little trip to Canberra that of all the places that I go and drop in and visit, I'm going to pick up little souvenir -y things and put them into this little folio travel thing <laughs> as a special souvenir of this, this little retreat trip because, wow, I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is, I think, it's still formulating in my head because as always, I am making this up on the fly. <laughs> it would be so unlike me to actually be organised. So I'm making this up as I go along. So at the moment, the thing in my head is pretty simple. What you will need is a sh one sheet of 12 by 12 inch card. I'm using a, I can't even tell you the GSM on this because I have no idea, but it's, it's thicker than your average scrapbooking paper, but it's not too, too thick. So I can bend it and make things with it. But I think once I've covered it with decorative paper, it will be strong enough to be a little thing that I carry around with me. I don't think I'm going to cover a laminated, anything like that. Now, if you don't have 12 by 12 inch piece, you can actually use smaller pieces because I have actually cut it in half. So what we need is this. For your outside cover, you need one sheet or one piece that is six inches by 12 inches. Now, of course, you can make this a different size, but if you do, you'll have to do the maths. <laughs> now for this six by 12 inches, I am scoring at four and three quarter inches and five and a quarter and you might be at this point shaking your head saying what are you doing Georgia you're going crazy that's not the middle I mean it's not be the middle because what I'm going to do is the part that I have scored is our spine so once I've done that I have this overlapping bit and that's going to sort of fold over the front excellent now my other piece, I have actually cut it a bit shorter. So this is six inches tall, but nine and a half across. And I am scoring this at four and a half inches and five inches. So when I fold this over, this will make an insert for my, let's call it a travel folio. So this will make an insert for my travel folio. So it will go spine bit against spine bit. And there I have pages. Ta -da, done. <laughs> I could keep it that easy, couldn't I? Now, one other thing I want is I want some clear plastic pages. Now, I'm very sorry if you don't have anything like this, you might have to go scouting around the place. I actually have these plastic pockets. They are from Avery L, I think is the brand. And they are pockets that are made to store craft products in dyes or stamps or whatever you want. I have this whole packet of the large size that I've never actually used for anything. And I thought, well, one of these might be great. Now, if you don't have one of these, if you have a laminator, I'm thinking, those la plastic laminating sheets might be useful or some sort of thick bag that you know when you buy your, your dyes and your stamps sometimes they come in really good bags could use one of those now what I'm going to do is J 
just cut off the end piece there. Hoping that will be, oh, look at that, almost, almost fantastic. That's great. So it's almost the same size as my little insert. If it was if it was too big, then I would have cut it down. Now I'm going to cut it at six inches so that it's as tall as my pages. And by doing that, I will be creating an opening in the top. So what that's done is created an opening at the top and this side is open as well of course because that's where the pocket originally opened and I'm going to score that at the same places as I did that in our booklet which is four and a half I believe oh, if I've got that right on memory four and a half and five So what I'm going to do now is start from the inside and work my way out. I am going to stick this little plastic pocket. Now I'm using my art glitter glue because of the whole it dries clear thing. Now I don't know how this is going to go because I've never actually used it on clear plastic. But I figure if it ends up looking yucky, then I will just cover it with washi tape or something. <laughs> Again, making this up as we go, so we'll see what happens. Now making sure that I have this the right way up, I will then stick the spine of my little insert pages onto the spine of the cover. As you can see the glue did not completely dry clear when it comes to sticking plastic but that's okay I will sort that out later on but for now I'm actually going to decorate the cover now this would probably have been easier to do if I decorated before sticking all the pieces together so if you're watching this through and not playing along as you go uh, use the benefit of hindsight and go mm, maybe I'll decorate before I stick it together don't do a Georgia <laughs> so what I have done is I have I am using pieces of scrapbooking paper from the very old now I know it's my catchphrase you won't be able to buy this because it's discontinued Kayser Craft which is an Australian company Kayser Craft open road collection this is a few years old it was an Australia themed collection and it has some really really beautiful papers especially the floral ones so I'm using a couple of sheets of that and I have cut pieces that are just slightly smaller than each of the surfaces that I want to cover so I'm going to do the outside cover first just grab my glue I'm being careful to have it upright, whichever way that may be. Here we go. So that's really pretty. Do the back as well. Now this flap that goes over, I have not decided yet what I'm going to do with it, so I don't have anything just yet. I have a piece for the spine. I'm still thinking about whether I want to use that or use some ribbon. So I will just put that aside for now. And I will then cover the inside of the cover and these two bits here, which are going to have pockets and things on them. Okay, so off camera, I finished covering the insides. I have covered the two little pages that are going to end up having pockets or something on them so I've probably kind of wasted the paper because most of it might be covered but we'll see. I have also 
I've wrapped a piece of ribbon. I've decided for ribbon for the spine. It's stuck on quite well on the outer spine, which is ribbon on cardstock. Not so great on the inside with my plastic. It's a learning process, I guess. Uh, not quite sure how that's going to go over time, but I'm sure I'll come up with some fix <laughs> somewhere along the way. So I have cut my decorative paper so that it still leaves this really big space here. I know it looks kind of weird, but I thought if my paper goes all the way to the edge, with the bending over, depending on how thick this little booklet gets, it could end up cracking. So I just wanted to leave that space clear. And it's not really something that I'm going to be looking at very much. Um, before I do that, I have also cut myself a piece of twine. And this is long enough to wrap around my journal. One, I'm calling it a journal, my my travel souvenir folio journal thingy holder. <laughs> One time, two times, three times, kind of four times. And what I'm going to do is on the inside here, I'm folding it in half. And so at that halfway point, I am going to, maybe I'll use a bit of washi tape. As always, we're making this up, okay? So we'll see how it goes. Anything that gets completely mucked up, I can always come back to at some point and go into damage control. It would not be the first time. I'm going to stick it down like this, eyeballing the middle, because you know, why use a ruler? <laughs> and then I'm going to stick the paper over the top. And I know it's going to make a bit of a lumpy, bumpy bit in the middle, but so be it. I might cover that with a little embellishment or something at some point. We'll see. Maybe I'll find something in Canberra that will go beautifully. <laughs> Who knows? This is if Canberra still happens. As of today, just got the news today that uh, slight restrictions are coming back after we had a couple more two new COVID cases pop up over the last couple of days. So we're back to some restrictions. Masks are back on indoor venues. Uh, groups of people smaller. But at least we're not in lockdown. So now it's sort of like a three day uh, restriction boom to see if we can get this thing under control. Because if not, here we go again. And I know it's terribly selfish that I'm going, oh, this is going to impact my trip to Canberra in two weeks. I know it's terrible. I'm trying not to think that way. But you know, sometimes we're only human. Sometimes we can't help ourselves. So this is the little booklet so far. And I oh know that's come up at this really strange spot, hasn't it? That's really, I was not thinking. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay, because I think I can, I can work with that. Let's see, I can, yeah, we'll work with that. We'll work with that. Okay, so now to, actually I'm going to grab a bulldog clip and pop it over here so that it has a chance to dry flat and really well. And once that's dry, we'll go on to adding some little pockets and things. Okay, so just to keep all this messy string out of my way, I'm just going to wrap it up like this for now, just to keep it out of the way while I keep working. So I'm going to decorate or put little pockets on the inside here. And I have grabbed my Kazercraft Open Road 6x6 paper pad, or 6.5x6.5 paper pad. And having a quick flick through before, there are these cutter parts at the end. And I kind of thought, wouldn't one of these be so perfect as a bit of a tuck spot inside the cover of this what am I calling it travel souvenir folio <laughs> I'm just going to quickly grab my sanding block and just sand those little scrunchy bits this is a little bit messy and I'm going to grab some Distress Ink and I'm just grabbing tea dye simply because it's on my desk. It might not be dark enough. No, it's okay. And I'm just going to ink around the edges. So I'm thinking, and it's this side, that side. I think I might stick it this side. I know it's only small. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on the edge of the end bits and on my straight edge. And I know it's not much of a tuck spot, it's pretty pathetic in terms of tuck spots because not much is going to stay under it. 
but I kind of thought it might be useful for something small. I don't know. I don't know what I'll be picking up this weekend, so I'm giving myself all sorts of options. You know, something can slide in there, I'm sure. Here we go. There's, um, whoops. <laughs> Makeshift little souvenir ticket. Pop in there. See, little things can stick in there very nicely. Okay. And then what I might do is grab, I'll see if I have a paper that's that kind of, that shade or pattern. Oh, look at that. Woohoo. Kind of meant to be there. Okay, and I'm thinking if I do a little bit of a pocket down here at the bottom of this page. So grabbing my cutter. And I'm thinking about here, eyeballing the height of it as I do. There we go, so I've grabbed this and I am going to ink around the edges. I really could have done that to all the decorative papers, but I kind of forgot. It's up to you if you want to ink your decorative papers when you're decorating your pages or leave them as they are. There is no right or wrong. It's whatever you like. I usually do ink them, but I kind of, yeah, I forgot. I was all excited about getting retreat projects prepared two weeks in advance. I forgot to do my inking. So just along three sides, make sure it goes up the right way up. Popping it on my, the bottom of my page here. And it's only a small pocket. I haven't made any of the folds that make it into a deep pocket like we have done in previous projects. It's just a little thing. It's only going to hold a couple of little things in my travels. So there we go. So that's the first lot of pages done. So now I'm going to do something here. Just using my offcuts here. All right, if I grab this, give it a bit of a slanted cut. Now you can decorate these as much or as little as you like. I'm keeping mine pretty simple at this point, but I might decorate it over time. Who knows? So again, just on three sides, and I'm popping this here. So I actually, I should have... Should have not done that bottom bit. See if I can wash off that glue. Only two sides. I want a tuck spot, not a pocket. So there we go. Hopefully that will stay open there. So I'm just going to grab a little piece of ribbon here. Just go along the edge. I think that would be nice. And because I don't have one of those fancy ribbon cutters that stops the ribbon from fraying, I just put a little bit of my art glitter glue just on the edge and I kind of squish it into the ribbon. And I have found that that stops it fraying. You might like it fraying actually, you go that little shabby look. But I want to keep this kind of neat. Right, and I might see if I can find something kind of cute to go over that. Oh, wish you were here. This is for all you guys. Wish you were here with me. I think it's kind of appropriate for our little retreats. And I am hoping to meet up with one of our girls while I'm down here. I won't mention who because we'll see who's been paying attention and who knows who lives down in Canberra. Oh, and I should have... Here we go. This is what you do when you realise you should have inked something and you've already stuck it. <laughs> Come in after the fact. There you go. So that's kind of cute. I can pop some things in in my travels. Pop some little things in that pocket there in that tuck spot. Cute, cute. So we're roaring through this. Now the little plastic pocket. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. I might put some, maybe, I might print out a photo. Maybe when I meet up with our mystery God's Refrigerator girl. Maybe we'll get a uh, do a make it take a selfie. Maybe we'll take a selfie now. I'll put the photo in there or something. I don't know who knows. I'll sort of work that out 
when the time comes. But um, I'm going to stick this on the outside. Whether or not it sticks to the plastic, I'm, I do not know. Okay, so I'm going to stick that at the top here. And at this point, I will give it a chance to dry well. So I'll take a little break, put something heavy on the top. Great. Over on this side, I think I might stick this flower right there. So I'll pop that over here. And I'll put something heavy over it to hold it down while we work on the other page. So here we go. Now, I have pulled out once again my Open Road paper pad and I really like this paper bark tree design. So I'm going to use this to make another corner pocket for this side. And what I'm going to do is kind of go, okay, this is where I want it and I want it about this big. So I'm just going to rip it just so I have that nice torn distressy kind of look and I'm going to ink around the edges once again keeping this pretty simple because I'm not actually aiming for a big art project I'm just making a little thing that I can bring with me in my travels and just pop little souvenirs into so once again just putting glue along two sides down like this whether you stick it all the way along the edge or if you leave a little border like this totally up to you I'm leaving a little border and then oh maybe this one or this to go with I kind of like that one so far next stop no I do kind of like that one. I think I'll just stick with that one. Do a bit of inking on that. And I'll stick that on the center. I think the most fun part of this project will be finding things to put into the pockets. We could have some fun with this. Okay, there we go. Now over here, let's see how this is going. Yeah, this is stuck nicely. Now if I'm going for symmetry, so I've got little side, little corner pocket, little corner pocket. So here I had just a normal pocket. So I might do the same thing here and just have like a squarish. I might even use exactly the same paper that I did on the first one. So grabbing my little cutter, eyeballing as I do, and this one I might tear this one as well because I kind of, I kind of like that look. Okay, I know it's not quite as long as the page. I cut it a little bit too small, but that's okay. I'm not too fast. Three sides again with the glue. I'm just popping that down. You know what? I'm actually going to bring it up the side here so that it's flush against the edge. And then over here, I'm going to stick something so it actually looks like I did that on purpose. <laughs> See, this is a lesson in, if you muck up, make it look like you did it on purpose. And nobody realizes. That's kind of my motto, isn't it? Just pretend you meant it. I'm, I'm just going through here. Oh, look, there's all these wonderful quotes at the back. So, surprise. <laughs> I wonder if, oh, they're not quite long enough, though. I don't particularly like them anyway. The stickers might be fun. Let's have a look. Oh, the stickers have got great quotes. 
But here we go. Here we go again. If that was, if that was long enough, how cool would that be? Yeah. Okay. Here we go again. And I know they meant it in a completely different way to how I'm using it, but I'm just inking around the edges of the sticker. It's kind of appropriate, isn't it? Because yeah, here we go again. We're back in Canberra. I really hope so. I am making this beforehand. Really, really hope my plans don't just get destroyed. <laughs> so here we go again, back in Canberra. Yay! All right. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> now for this final page, I thought what I would like to do is put in a little mini booklet. Now when I leave for this Canberra retreat, unlike all the other times that I've gone to Canberra or to the Carmelite place, I usually bring the great big box or two full of all my supplies. This time around, I'm actually going to minimalize what I bring with me. And at this point, I am planning on having all the retreat projects already finished so that I can spend the time retreating more than focusing on these big projects. And I'm planning on just bringing maybe just a sketchbook and perhaps my colored pencils, some pen, some sketching pencils, maybe, maybe my watercolors, I'll see, but I'm only going to bring a few things. And so keeping that in mind, I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a little mini sketchbook inside this thing that I'll be carrying around everywhere. So if I sort of get inspired by something along the way, I can stop and sort of do a little bit of sketching. So that's the plan anyway. Now you don't have to do this. You could actually put in just a notebook to, you know, to take notes, um, to write things, bits of journaling, depending on what you're making your book for. If it's like an everyday sort of running, uh, running errands book, you could have a shopping list in here, anything you like. But I thought it would be kind of fun to have a little sketchbook. So what I've done is I have cut a strip of paper. It's one inch tall and a little bit longer than my page. And I am going to fold one end no particular measurement, just a little tiny bit. Eyeball it across so that it's as wide as my page. Fold the other end under. Now when I make sure that it's a good length across, I'm then grabbing my glue and just putting glue on those little bits that I folded over. I know they're not the same, but that does not matter. And sticking it up near the top. And that will work as a little band, a bit of a belly band, I suppose you call it, that will hold my sketchbook that will sort of slip in there. Now to make the sketchbook, I have cut myself a piece of paper that is taller than my page because I want to fold a bit over now as much you can fold over as much as you like this is more decorative than anything else so this is how much I want mine folded over so once you fold it over you want it to be almost as long as your page and almost as wide across but not quite so that it can easily slip into uh, you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> okay, so that's that's my plan. Now the other thing I've done is I have cut a bunch of white papers. These are actually out of a little sketchbook that I had, so I tore a few of the pages out, cut them to size so they are almost the same size as here, let's move this. Almost the same size as this paper cover that I've cut out but not quite, so I've got a little bit of it showing. And if I line them up underneath my little flap, center them there, I am now going to use my Tim Holtz mini attacher. You can use any sort of stapler that you like. And I'm going to just staple those in. Because I have the flap that goes over, you don't get to see the staples. Perfect. Now, what I want to do is I have some stickers that I've pulled out. These are from the Crafty Girl 
collection by Simple Stories. Once again, George is showing you a really, really old collection that you probably can't get anymore. And this, uh, there are, there's a whole bunch of word stickers on the bottom, and I really want to use sketch and paint. But if I put them on my little decorative paper here, they won't show up very well. So what I'm going to do, actually what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to ink those edges. including the top and then I have grabbed myself just a little bit of black paper just an off cut from something I have a box full of off cuts so that when I need a little piece I already have some and I'm just going to rip a piece oh, there's my phone there we go and stick it across the middle of that flap and then I'm going to grab those words sketch and paint give them a little bit of ink around the edge especially that yellowish paint one. Sketch, paint. There we go, so I have my little booklet here. And then all I need to do is just slide it in. And there we are, so I have a little sketchbook in here so the story so far this will actually be tied up like this so I'll open up my little folio thing <laughs> and a little tuck spot to put something special pocket for something special pocket for something special Something will go into the plastic sleeve, possibly double-sided. Same with this one. This one, because it had the opening on the side here, it actually opens up. Oh, no, it won't do it. Here we go. <laughs> it opens up top and side. And then I have my side pocket there, or my corner pocket there, rather. Little pocket there. And here we go again. Whoops. And sketchbook which when it's full I can take out and put something else in there and the very last thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of a decoration on the front cover I don't know if decoration is the right word so I have this cut out from the same Kayser craft collection and it says welcome to and I was going to write Canberra but because we are still two weeks away and sometimes things go wrong so I'm not actually going to write anything on it just yet. When I am surely in Canberra and this retreat is up and running, then I will write Canberra. I might write May 2021 Canberra retreat something. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to stick that on the front and that's going to be my little title for this travel souvenir folio. And I'll just pop it over here. And that is all that I'm doing in terms of decorating it. Because I am sort of starting to think that, even though I would like to stick some things, perhaps, you know, some little charms or something down the side here, maybe some stickers, something inside, maybe something on the spine. I would like to decorate it further, but in keeping with this little, wouldn't it be fun to collect things in Canberra and decorate or you know fill this cute little folio thing with Canberra souvenirs let's see if I can find things in Canberra to decorate the outside of this folio <laughs> just spinning around has a life of its own yeah let's see if I can find some things in Canberra I don't like that <laughs> let's undo this <laughs> so let's see if I can find some things in Canberra to decorate the outside of this little folio 
so for the time being here we are little pockets everywhere i think we've done a flip through there's my little sketchbook close it up and i have my funny little string system happening here you can of course put a hole through your spine that is what i would normally do but because i've got the two layers of ribbon i did not think that would work very well so that's why i sort of did it here on the side so you can you can put yours through the spine you might choose to do nothing at all you might choose to do the uh, georgia bible trick of just having a great big piece of ribbon that you tie around the outside you might want to have nothing there at all or you might have a different sort of closure system a little hinge or something but i'm just going to have this i'm going to cut this down to size i have way too much of it i'm just going to have this shabby looking string i think it goes well with the theme that is my little travel souvenir folio that i plan to fill with some interesting little finds in canberra so thank you very much for joining me if you are making one yourself would love to see it now once again this has been for my may 2021 virtual faith art retreat light to my path which has its own facebook group so i will put the details below in the description if you'd like to come over and join us so the retreat itself runs for a few days the 20th till the 24th of may but the retreat group actually remains open until the next retreat at the end of June. So if you're coming in late, you'll miss out on the conversation and the chats and things that go on during the actual retreat. But the projects will still be there. The group will be open. So if you join in the projects a little bit late or if you're running a little bit behind during the actual retreat time, because, you know, life does happen, unfortunately, um, you can still keep posting your projects throughout the whole month so please 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 feel free to join us of course it is a free retreat they are always free and yes i think i've said it all <laughs> so thank you once again for joining me please say say hello do the thing with the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below always appreciate seeing you know you guys saying hi yes and if you are in my group god's refrigerator please share your projects when you if you make one of these share them all over the group we'd love to see them if you're not in my group why not <laughs> come on over knock on the door answer the secret question and we will let you in and all my other social links are down below if you'd like to go come over and say hello and share your pictures of your little souvenir folios whether you use them as a travel souvenir holder thing or a little diary or a photo album or a recipe book whatever you choose to use them for we'd love to see yours okay thank you again and i'll catch you in the next one bye